Well, for years, we've been telling you about the poor conditions of the Stanley Holmes Village apartments in Atlantic City. And now we're following up for you. Our Ryan Hughes went there today and he's got this update. This is unnecessary and is uncalled for. Ravina Scott did not hold back inside Atlantic City's council chambers after city officials and the Atlantic City Housing Authority held a news conference to detail an action plan to address the ongoing issues at Stanley Holmes Village. Scott told the crowd she still does not have heat or hot water in her apartment. This has been an ongoing thing down through the years. On Wednesday, the Atlantic City Housing Authority vowed to provide more dependable utilities ahead of the winter months. Officials say the issues stem from failing infrastructure inside the city's oldest public housing complex and inadequate funding to make repairs. They deserve better, and that's what we have to do. Two years ago, CBS News Philadelphia reported on what the mayor called horrendous conditions. Inspections revealed not only heat and hot water issues, but infestations of mice, bed bugs, and roaches. The housing authority says it has invested $3.5 million towards heating and gas improvements at Stanley Homes Village. What we've done is we've added temporary, we're adding temporary boilers to Stanley, and we are getting rid of those 1962 boilers. Officials say residents in 72 units at Village 3, one section of the complex, voluntarily transferred to other buildings with better living conditions. We're told additional transfers will be done in phases over the next few years. But after years of issues, Scott and other residents we spoke with say they will believe it when they see it. We're now living in limbo. We don't know what tomorrow holds. We don't even know what the winter holds for us. The Housing Authority says the plan is to complete all heating system repairs by the end of November. Officials say they also promised to inspect Scott's unit and anyone else facing issues to determine why their heat and hot water are not working. In Atlantic City, Ryan Hughes, CBS News Philadelphia.